The Padres get you Darvish back on the mound tonight after missing the past few months. I'm going to have a full breakdown on how I think he pitches, how he did in the minors in his rehab start, and most importantly, a free play, a moneymaker for you in this game coming up with analysis in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV, breaking down your late night game for this Wednesday evening, 940 Eastern Interleague Action, Tigers at Padres. And Darvish has been out for the past couple months. He was put on the injured list uh, back at the end of May and early June with the groin injury. Also had a family matter in July. Uh, so he has not pitched a big league, big league game in over three months. But he did get one minor league start here recently. And boy, he did not look good. Low A-plus baseball against the Reds minor league opponent. And uh, he had a 16.2 ERA in that start. He went over three innings, gave up seven hits, six earned runs. A 4-1-2, a 4-1-2, 4-12 opposing batting average in those three innings. And once again, a 16.2 ERA, giving up six runs in just over three innings. Not a good sign. Now, look, I don't want to read too much into a rehab start, but still at low A baseball to struggle like that. And then just one bullpen session since. I'm not fully convinced he's ready to go tonight, and I need to see it before I believe it. And then on the surface, the Padres are a minus 210 favorite. So I do think the Tigers could be a live dog here. Let's look at them on the run line plus one and a half, minus 130 to give us a little extra wiggle room. If Darvis does pitch well, I think it'll actually be a low scoring game and I would probably lean under the eight. But once again, just too much uncertainty with Darvis on the mound. Both teams were off yesterday on Tuesday, so the bullpens are rested. So once again, a low scoring game does help the plus one and a half run line with the Tigers to keep it close. And Keter Montero's on the mound for the Tigers. And his overall numbers this season might not be that impressive. You look at this rookie starter, um, he's got a 5.2 ERA. But he's actually pitched better in the month of August. He's gotten better as the season's gone on. In fact, in his six starts for the month of August, a very solid 3.82 ERA and um, opposing batting average of just 235. So this is the guy in his last six starts has been better than his overall seasonal numbers, trending in the right direction. And once again, a lot of uncertainty with Darvish on the mound tonight. By the way, it was a weird scheduling spot. Padres played Monday, and they had yesterday off on Tuesday. And they play tonight, Wednesday, and play tomorrow and Thursday against the Tigers. The reason this happened is because the Padres wanted a home game for Labor Day. After the road trip, they wanted some increased ticket sales. Monday, Labor Day games always sell well. They beat the Tigers, by the way, 3-0. But they had to take a day off before this three-game series ended. They couldn't play both Tuesday and Wednesday because according to the MLB Players Association agreement, you have to have at least one day off. You can't play more than 20 straight days of baseball. So the Padres had to take either Tuesday or Wednesday off. They elected to take Tuesday. So very weird scheduling spot. And I think that's another reason maybe we see a lower scoring game here. Both bullpens are fresh. But once again, too much uncertainty for me with Darvish after that awful minor league outing. So I'm going to lean Tigers here, plus one and a half run line, minus 130. And Montero's pitching a little bit better than his overall numbers. And by the way, Padres playing excellent baseball. They're in the wild card position right now. They've gone 20 and 10 their last 30. But don't look now. Tigers are in the mix as well in the AL Central. They might be in fourth place 10 games out, but they're just four and a half back of a wild card. Uh, they've won seven of their last 10 games, 14 and six their last 20, and 18 and 12 their last 30. They're playing as good as the Padres here in recent weeks, and I think they play well again tonight. Look for a tight game, plus one and a half run line Tigers would be my preferred play in this late night game on Wednesday. Hey, I've got a strong late night best bet as well. It's a strong MLB over under selection. You might want to pay attention. I am ranked number one this season in MLB totals at wagertalk.com. Just a fantastic baseball season, and we are red hot to say the least. Perfect 2 0 sweep last night on Tuesday. 3 and 1 so far this week on Monday and Tuesday, 17 and 5 and 20 and 6 current MLB runs and 34 and 15 on top of that. And if you go back even further, I'm up 31 games above 500 the last 3 months in MLB, 73 and 42. Just a fantastic baseball season. I know football is here, but baseball is still here as well. And there's no football on Wednesday. So go get my top best bet tonight on Wednesday right now. Get it for 25 or get a three-day all-sport all-access for just 49. And that does get both college and pro football included. That would get you Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Or you can wait for Thursday, Friday, Saturday and get the Saturday college football card included. No matter which option you choose, that three-day special for 49 is a fantastic value. It's normally 69. We're selling it for just 49 this week. No promo code needed. Once again, three days and nights of all sports, including my Red Hot Baseball, for just $49. Once again, one best bet tonight. Don't miss out. We also have a discount, by the way, on the rest of the baseball season. And once again, I have been smoking them. Number one in totals this year, and I've got another total going tonight. 
and longer term 34 and 15 run over the past month and a plus. In fact, just the plus last 30 days, you can go to Wager Talk and see the rankings. I'm 27 and 12, up 53 units the last 30 days. That's ranked number one as well. So it's been a great baseball season. It will continue here in September, as evident by the perfect 2 0 sweep last night and the 3 1 start this week. So September baseball is a great moneymaker, even though football is here. Don't sleep on baseball. Get that strong best bet tonight. And also a bonus free play tonight in baseball on my page, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Comment below. What are your thoughts on Darvish? Do you think he struggles tonight? How are you playing this Tiger Padre game? What other best bets do you like for Wednesday night baseball? Comment below. I read the comments. I reply back. Thumbs up, like. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell for instant alerts. You know when these free play videos go up every day. Also, I have a lot of college and pro football free play videos this week planned. So click that bell when you subscribe for instant alerts. Follow me on X on Twitter at Steve Merrill. Two R's, one L at Steve Merrill on X and Instagram. And stay tuned here to Wager Talk TV for more great free content coming up next.